Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here's a quick recap on what I've been up to. As you can see, Harlow has an IV patch shaved off of her neck. That is because she had a pretty serious colic episode a couple of weeks ago now. She had a pelvic flexure impaction. Luckily, she was able to pass it on her own didn't require surgery but she did spend an overnight at the vet clinic getting iv so yeah it was a scary occurrence but she came through it and she is doing better now she just needs to put some weight back on and she's starting some groundwork on the lunge line but she's been doing well and being herself why your tail go up oh my goodness why oh wow <laughs> dislike but she's doing it because of the baby Holy shit. Woo. Wow, girl. She's like, what the hell is that? Harlow, you're gonna have to take care of one of those one day, so get get used to it. Oh my god. She's like, they're running. What? Is this scary? like what the fuck man what the hell is that <laughs> holy oh, shit that's what that's is that one. it's a baby yeah is this scary baby you gotta watch out i don't think she'll get you she's nice but so yeah harlow is doing well and i'm really glad she came through her colic as well as she did it was pretty scary i've not had a colic in like over a decade let alone that one that bad so we were really worried about her but she's been doing super well Currently getting ready to feed the horses. And you can hear how excited Milo gets about this time of day. I'm just gonna stir this with my hands and wait for him to yell at me. Here we go. He's like, please feed me, I'm starving to death. Happy. He just gets beat pulp with his supplements. These videos are from a couple of days before I filmed the vlog, but anyways, a quick update on Milo. Milo is doing well. We're just waiting for the date of his MRI, which won't be until June 6th. That's the earliest I could get him in. So we're just in a waiting game right now. I put some hoof armor on his hooves because we don't know what we might be shooing for, whether or not it's a tendon injury or what or what to do with him. Plus, he'll need his shoes all pulled for the MRI. So he has hoof armor on and we're just kind of letting him be until we get a diagnosis and know what's going on with him and as i said in the other video for the arthroscopy it really just depends on how the mri goes because there's no point in putting him through an invasive procedure like that if the mri does not go well so anyways i'm having a sale on the milestone products on the amoreequestrian.ca website 10 percent off with code milo and same in my merch store just to fundraise some money for his mri and any potential treatment to follow after as you can see from these clips, he was feeling pretty good um, with the hoof armor and also having been started on Prevacox, but this is the morning after he would have had his Prevacox. So um, yeah, he's doing well and he's fresh. Uh, he's not in work or anything, of course, but I'm glad he's playing more because he does need to lose weight, clearly. But yeah, that's an update on him. Anyways, a quick update on Banksy. I just brought him out to groom during this vlog filming, so he didn't do very much, but he's turning three on May 28th. He's just been chilling in the herd and enjoying being a baby. I haven't been working with him because I haven't had time. I've been focusing on client horses as well as other stuff because I've just been really overwhelmed with everything that's going on. So he's kind of taken a bit of a backseat, but he's been chilling. Now, this is Scruffy, a three-year-old thoroughbred that I've been working with. He's a client horse. He was started, intended to be going to the track, but very lightly started, and then he sat, and now he's three, and he's not going to the track. So he had a refresher under another trainer, but has really only had a handful of rides. So I'm just helping educate him and get him a little bit more broke so he can go on to his new home. He's like, cool, what's that? Yeah, and they're gonna like the Target stuff too because I, I showed Kaylee how to do the intro to Target stuff with him and he's so quick. Aww. He's like, I get it. Cool, you're, you're gonna pilot me? Cool. And the ducks too. Uh, wow. He's like, that car wasn't here before. <laughs> he's the best three-year-old ever. He says Bob comes on pretty strong. There she is. It's the girl. Hi, pretty girl. 
And this, of course, is Luna. She's been in some other videos. She's a client horse who's been with me for a few months now. So this wonderful young lady is for sale. If anyone knows of someone looking for a super talented young horse, uh, experienced home only because she is still green. She's only just turning six um, and she's a sensitive little gal. So she needs the right type of person, but she could take anyone so far in a number of disciplines. She's so talented, such a beautiful mover and just has such a cool personality. I wish I could afford another horse and a horse of her caliber because then she would no longer be for sale. So anyways, hey lady. splash through the puddle. I don't blame her. If I was a horse, I probably wouldn't like That's a nice face, Luna. Yeah. You're so cute. She says, I kind of like this. Good girl. So cute. <laughs> You're gorgeous. Literally Barbie dream horse. Nice lady. Post it just so you can flex a little bit. Her mouth is happy though, like. Good girl. Good lady. Yeah, she's like, I can do it. You're so cute. Yeah. So much autonomy, I can't even deal. What does it mean? Luna, you're actually stunning. You're such a nice girl. She's like, okay. Luna, you could have your pick of boyfriends. She does. <laughs> She's like, yep, I did. Good girl. You're so nice, Lunicorn. She's such a cool little mare. I do too. She's like, thanks.